We're out here on Bush Ranger's run today, which I'm sure makes it fairly obvious that we are not continuing with the Let's Go Trophy Hunt series in this particular video, but I was going through the competitions, there's a lot of ones I like on this map, and after, I think it was two weeks ago now, we were able to gain another competition trophy for the Rusadir. I wanted to kind of continue that and see if we could add another trophy to our gallery. Now normally, when I'm thinking about doing competitions, I choose a map that I kind of feel like hunting and look for competitions in that way. And if there are good competitions, we'll sort of do a hunt like this. And the concept of taking a 200 access deer has really appealed to me since they came out. I never really had too much luck with them. There was one stream where I didn't even know it, but we did end up shooting one nice access deer that scored, I think, 197. It just didn't look all that impressive to me, so with a access deer competition running at the moment, I thought that would be a good thing to kind of come here to Bush Rangers run for. And by the way, there is a Red Fox comp as well, however, it's one of my favorite ones. It's uh, the highest scoring Red Fox that is not a common, more or less, so towards the end of the hunt we'll likely fast travel up in here. Normally there are a ton in that area, so that'll be mostly for later on. Feral goat are actually one species that we do not have a competition for today. And the reason for that is, there was actually one running yesterday, and that is the biggest reason that we're actually out here on Bush Rangers Run. Just normally on the weekends, I don't have a lot of video stuff to do, so I decided to come out to Classic, just kind of spend some time on this map. And there was a Feral Goat comp, which was just the total score of your two biggest Feral Goats. Without filling a feeder, I just kind of went out hoping for the best, and very quickly ran into a nice sized goat, got that one down, and a little while later, decided to fill my feeder, headed to that, and got another good one. Ultimately, it didn't feel that impressive as for the score. I mean, I thought you'd need at least two 300s to be in the top three, but for whatever reason, that actually won the competition. So we have a first place trophy for feral goats now. I still don't feel like it was the most difficult to earn, but Certainly not going to complain about getting that. I thought it was pretty cool as well that the bigger of the two goats was actually taken away from a feeder, but that's why we're not in any feral goat comps today. I want to try not to get distracted um, by things that we're not going to be in competitions for anyway, and I'm sure there is another one running, but I figure we're best sticking to things that we don't have a competition trophy of yet. We might have made a mistake. 270 to 375 on a feral goat and we don't have a competition. Now, of course, as I said, we already have a trophy for one. And uh, frankly, I don't know if there is a competition running that that would help us with. That shot also felt a little high, but he dropped it in his tracks, so all good there. I'll go and see if there was a competition, I guess, that we could have actually entered and maybe placed in again. But uh, yeah, away from the feeder and everything, we fast traveled and there's a way bigger goat over here. It would have required a bow shot. The competition running today is bow only, but there actually are no entries, so even if we shot a really small one, we could be in first at least for now. And this one is definitely not too bad. 287, not exactly competition winner, I would say, but given what we saw out of the last comp, it definitely could end up being top three if we shot it with a bow and if we were even in that competition. I should mention as well, speaking of specific weapons, the reason that we have the muzzleloader today is because the Axis Deer comp, the main reason we're out here, is muzzleloader specific, so that's why we're kind of using that on other things. Now that's not a bad Axis buck, probably in the area of 140, 95 to 175 is the estimate. And with our last 45 caliber muzzleloader round, we can drop him and go and take a look. Now, it is at this point where things are going to become rather interesting. If we head up here and take a look at our access deer real quick, we will see whatever the score is, 103 kg is not too bad, double lung at 50 meters and a 138 score, but we do not get an entry in the competition. And the reason for that is yesterday while hunting and while placing in a feral go competition, I also came across a really nice access deer and I knew immediately when it was coming in, despite the fact that I couldn't spot it behind the access to your dough, that it had potential to place in this competition. And finally, we got a shot off. It took it like an absolute champion 
at that range for a muzzleloader. Ran off a bit, finally found it, and by pure luck, we got our 200 plus Axis Deer at 201.9. And at the time, he was third place in the competition. The competition is actually still active. As I record this, there's probably 14 hours left, something like that, and he still remains in third. Uh, that was a little over 12 hours ago, so I'm hoping he's going to stay there. There are at least four, last I checked, over 200. In fact, all four are over 201. Ours just happens to be that 201.9, so it is a little bit bigger and is sitting in third. I'd love to win the competition with that guy. Our first ever 200 access to here, and of course, I didn't even record live audio, because, you know, at that point, I'd done so with the Feral Goat. Really didn't expect it to go over 200. I was hoping for the best, but yeah, we have a 200 access here now. So definitely that is going to be a Trophy Lodge uh, addition and a trip back to Lodge by the time we're done. But in the meantime, there are still other competitions. And as I said, the access to your comp is still active. So should we run into another big one, we have the muzzle loader. Maybe we can improve our entry. We've got all kinds of competitions today, and there is a kangaroo one as well. Highest scoring kangaroo shot with buckshot, actually, which is probably one that I've never even entered before. And I am not going to risk that spooking. It is a max wood SMO one. We've been tracking it for quite some time. And as you can probably guess, you can't call kangaroos. They can run a whole lot faster than we can. And with a shot opportunity, we're taking that. No questions asked. So, ooh, 89 points. That is going to be first or second place. That might be a personal best as well. Hang on, let's... Uh, Let's tax that. I, I was not ready for that to be that big. I figured 85 plus maybe. First place. What a day on Push Rangers Run. This is nuts. Well, uh, hitting escape closes the trophy shot. I forgot that. So uh, I guess we're not getting a picture of that one, but at least it's in the trophy lodge and it may well take home first place. It's going to be... I think there's only... 12, 13 hours left in that comp too, so it's got a good shot at it. I'm doing really good at uh, messing stuff up, so I guess I didn't bring extra muzzle or ammo. Luckily, it's not really that big of a deal because both of the Axis Bucks coming in are not that special. But before we do go and find a better one, we'll have to go and kind of get some more ammo now. I actually just checked. We are no longer top three in the Axis comp despite shooting a 200, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, I think there's three 204s as the top three now, so... I mean, we got one 200, who's to say we can't find another one during the course of this hunt, but it just, you know, it would have been cool to get our first 200 and actually place it in a competition with that. In the meantime, we might still get two first place trophies uh, from Bush Rangers, but we're gonna need a better Axis tier if we want a third one. On the bright side, that is the biggest dark fur type axis tier we've seen. Definitely not a 200 and definitely not going to get our top three placement back. By the way, I, as we've been walking around, decided to go and just kind of see what the history of the competition looked like. Because I know 200 scoring axis tier aren't incredibly rare. And uh, I thought maybe it's just common that it is three over 200 that uh, end up as the placements. In any other... Uh, of the last, like, four iterations of this competition, we would have been number one or number two, so bad timing, I guess, to get a 200 access tier, but again, we have a couple of other competitions we're doing well in, so no complaints. Not too bad, though. I don't know how that shot hit so far back. I know he was kind of taking a step forward. 84 kg, a dark fur type, and a 136 with a liver shot, so probably not one worth taking a trophy shot of, but... I think when they added the Dark Fur type, the only one we could find was like 70-something score, so nice to see a slightly better one. I don't imagine it's going to be big enough, given a minimum weight estimate and a score of 7 to 14, but at the very least, it is a gray, I think, so it'll count for the comp as long as we can take it down. And that'll be better than just shooting a random common like we did at the beginning of the hunt, actually. That also looks to be an uncommon. Might be a gray again. I wonder if we can get a spot or if we can go and get the track. They're not too bad to track down generally. I would like to be able to just spot it and know whether or not it's something that we want to go and pursue, but might take a track to determine that. For now, though, 
An entry in the Red Fox comp, 5.3 kg and 11.7 score. That has us currently in 10th, so yeah, probably going to be a little better than that. I would assume 26 or so is probably what you're looking for. And actually, looks like the other one that we saw running off is going to be the same. So it is actually not based on score, it's based on weight, but they are scored by their weight. And you need at least a 22, so these are not going to suffice. And actually, on that note, I hadn't planned on having two of them come in. We're going to head back to the uh, Trophy Lodge, and I want to place that 200 axes. I can't believe it's not going to get us a competition medal, but as I said, I mean, good chance we're going to end up with two out of Bush Rangers. I'm quite confident that Kangaroo stays top three anyway. And, I mean, I would like for one to be an Axis tier comp, but that's just reason to come back here and chase him again in the future. So pretty cool to add a new animal to this lodge, a 201.9 axis deer, and actually the first time that we've placed one, when we shot the 197 on stream, they still couldn't actually be placed in the trophy lodge, so I never did put them anywhere, and now we have a 200 instead, and I like it, I think it looked pretty good, nice to see one sort of up close like that, and yeah, go figure, we shot easily our personal best axis deer. One that in a lot of other days would get top three in a comp. And we're actually looking at potentially getting other competition medals instead. The Feral Goat one has already come through as a first place. And we might be looking at a Kangaroo one by the time we are done. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.